China takes aim at SpaceX Starlink. Let's dig in. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much once again joining me for Tea Time. Today we have Dark Temptation, the new tea blend from Dark Moon Teas that we just put together for you guys. Pre-order is still going on. Go over to jchristina.com. Pick them up. It's so good. So good. It's like a little bit of bitter chocolatey taste with some spice, a little bit of mint. Just so good. So good, guys. I hope you're joining me with your cup of tea, maybe a cup of coffee, hanging out, talking tech, talking photo, talking video, as I always say. Today is a technology day. We're going to be talking about China. China. And SpaceX Starlink. And the difference between the two and how China is directly aiming at Elon Musk, SpaceX, Starlink. And they're doing a good job at it. I would say they're doing a much better job, for example, than Jeff Bezos' Amazon, their Project Kuiper that I spoke about in yesterday's video. If you didn't watch that, check it out. I'll put maybe a link over there. So they're definitely doing an exceptional job. I was reading a couple of articles. I want to share some of it with you. And just so that you are aware of what's going on. These days, it seems like the news gives you like whatever information that is the narrative for that moment. And that's what they push and that's it. They don't give you like all the facts for you to judge what you believe in or what you don't believe in. They tell you what to believe in. This channel is definitely not like that. I do a lot of reading, a lot of research from all different sources. And then I give you the information. I'll let you be the judge. I'll give you my commentary on it, but I'm not always right. Anyways, down below, I want to hear your thoughts about this. So let's get into this article. Then I'll give you my thoughts on it. And then once again, by the end of this, I want to hear your thoughts. But before I would get into it, I want to say that if you have not subscribed to the channel as of yet, consider doing so. Subscribe. And if you are subscribed, click this little button over here so when I go live or when a new video comes out, you will be notified of it immediately. And if you like this content, even in the least, throw it a thumbs up. That would be awesome. Would really appreciate that. Anyways, let's jump right into this article. It says China sent an undisclosed number of satellites into orbit on Thursday to test satellite internet technologies. A Long March 2D rocket lifted off from a satellite launch center in southwest China. The China Aerospace and Science Technology Corporation, or CASA, only announced the nature of the payload when it was declared that the launch was successful. Of course, I'm not going to tell you about it until it absolutely worked, right? I'm not going to tell you about their failures. No details of the launch payload were revealed, only that the launch was carrying a single, quote, experimental satellite for satellite internet technologies. Space object tracking from the U.S. Space Force's Space Domain Awareness Team later revealed two objects, not one, were associated with the launch and they have been cataloged. The most likely application for the satellites is testing for China's National Satellite Internet Mega Constellation Project named Goang. Now, I talked about this project a while back where there was like 13,500 or some satellites that they were going to be launching, basically in direct competition with SpaceX Starlink. The article continues, the project envisions placing 13,000 satellites we heard that somewhere before, in low Earth orbit, partly in response to SpaceX Starlink. SpaceX has launched 5,000 Starlink satellites since 2019 and is seeking international approvals for an expansion of 40,000 Starlink in orbit. And that's actually 42, I think, thousand they're at right now that they want in orbit. And I think they'll eventually get there. Anyways, it continues, CASC had stated earlier in the year that it intended to begin launching batches of satellites for Goang. This would potentially be using a modified Long March 5B rocket. The Long March 8 is also being considered for high density launches of satellites for Goang. A communications mega constellation would not only provide telecommunications and internet coverage domestically, but also potentially position China as a provider of global public goods, a commercial competitor to other systems, and among other things, provide military 
military and government communications that would be hard to degrade. That is a very important statement. Provide military and government communications that would be hard to degrade. Well, that's exactly what's going on here with Star Shield, right? Because the US government sees how powerful Elon Musk Starlink system is with only 5,000 satellites, never mind 42,000. 5,000 satellite is so powerful, just like what the Chinese government have now seen, that it is that powerful and that it is, quote, hard to degrade. Because if you blow up one satellite or if you blow up a hundred satellites, it doesn't matter. It's just like if you have a mesh system, right, in your home. And no matter where you move in the house, you get full signal, right, full internet. Well, if you take one of those APs or access points out of the mix and hit it with a hammer and break it, the mesh network doesn't care, right? You might have less signal in that specific portion of the home, but you'll still have some signal and everything else is still working, right? So it is a absolutely, I love what they say here, but this is exactly right. This tells you that not only the US government gets it, well, the Chinese government gets it too, and they are doing the exact same thing. I say this all the time. China replicates, duplicates, copies, whatever you want to call it, and then they iterate upon that and they put it out there. They do this all the time and they do it very well. Anyways, the article finalizes with, China is also looking to build a space infrastructure system that would integrate communications with navigation positioning and remote sensing. Very government sounding. <laughs> Meanwhile, the government of Shanghai has expressed backing for another broadband mega constellation project that would consist of another initial 1,296 satellites. So they want to build another one, not just this Go Wong, but they want another one. When China wants something, they make it happen, right? They make it happen. And in comparison to the US that constantly just stifles innovation and moves at a snail's pace, right? The Chinese government doesn't do that. The CCP, they just, if they want it, they're gonna go and get it. They don't have no FAA, FCC. They don't have these regulatory bodies like the fish and wildlife people checking on the ecology. If they blow a rocket up and kill a couple of people on the ground, eh? Shoot another one up next week. That's it. Turn it over. Making it happen, right? Anyways, so this is very interesting, right? They're directly going against SpaceX Starlink because they know how powerful it is, like I said. And this is why Space Force is also doing the same thing. The same reason why we have Star Shield because it is a government, let's say, backed portion of Starlink. So this way, Elon Musk can remain out of the mix when it comes to his constellation, his mega constellation. And if the government needs to use their proportion or their specific satellites or a specific amount of time on these satellites in that mesh network, they can. And he doesn't have to get involved in world affairs, <laughs> right? Geopolitics. He doesn't need that. He has other stuff to do, right? So... This is very interesting, but what I found was also interesting is I found another article that they're not just putting these mega constellations into space, but they're also building what seems to be a starship and super heavy and whatnot. They're starting out with the engines. This article reads, matter of fact, I'm going to bring you up this picture because it looks like a picture that we saw in the U.S., but this is in China as they're testing one of these rocket engines. It says China is progressing with a program to develop a full flow staged combustion cycle methane engine to power a reusable Long March 9 super heavy lift launcher, just like what we currently have. It continues, the core indicators make the engine comparable to SpaceX Raptor engine that powers the Super Heavy or Starship. That's exactly what I was saying. As the world's second full flow stage combustion cycle, Methalox is what they call it, Methalox, I believe, engine, it is superior to Blue Origin's BE-4 and other domestic and international methane engines. 
Interesting. China is also developing a three-stage, not two-stage, three-stage heavy lift rocket specifically to send Chinese astronauts to the moon in 2030. So I always think that it's really amazing, right? I, I do. And, and I want to know your thoughts on this. How is it like every time the U.S. makes something, like within moments, it seems, China is making the same damn thing. And they look the same. They're like identical. How is this? How do they get the information? Is this some kind of like espionage type of thing? Like some kind of 007 shit? I, I mean, I don't know. How do they get this stuff? And when you look at it, it's like everything is in the same position, like the same hoses and tubes and stuff. And there might be a slight iteration, a slight modification, but that's it. Everything else is like identical. I, I just, I, I don't know, it's perplexing to me. Absolutely perplexing. What is your theory? I really would like to know. What is your theory? How does this happen? How does this happen? Are these plans or is this, is this schematics like sold? or something, you know? Is it like an internal thing? How do they get it? Are there spies that are like somehow internally intertwined or woven into the fabric of our companies? Or is there just bad actors that sell out, let's say, these plans for like millions and millions? I mean, I don't know. I really, I don't know. You see, you just can't just like look at it in some pictures and be like, yeah, okay, yeah, we can make that. Well, what's the internals look like? It's just not possible. Anyways, I find it fascinating because China gets it, all right? They get it. The CCP knows, once again, that Starlink is something that they are not going to be able to handle. They're not going to be able to take it out. They're not going to be able to stop it. So if you can't stop a competitor then you have to kind of join the competitor with your own similar type of setup. So by them putting out those 13,500 satellites, which forms their mega constellation for their Gowang or is it Starlink, let's call it, their own version of Starlink, which the government can use. Well, I mean, that just simply makes sense. Now, remember, the government here, all right, is now using Starlink under the guise or under the name of Star Shield, right? Well, in the Chinese government, which is communist, I mean, everything is basically nationalized anyways. There is no real private organizations. Anything of any value is going to be nationalized and controlled by the government anyways, right? So everything that's done there is with the mindset of either military or some type of governmental progression. That's communism. That's how it's always been. So I don't know, guys. I don't know. I can tell you one thing. By just looking at this, seeing what they're doing, seeing these launches that they're doing, continuous, 53, they're looking for 60 um, in the year. They're looking at deploying multiple, multiple satellites in some of these vehicles, the upper fairings, just like what Starship is doing or will do once it's up there like deploying like 200 plus satellites in like a stack, almost like a stack of cards, right? Just throwing them out there like this. Um, they're looking to do the exact same thing. They probably copied that already and they're building it. So, you know, and then I look at, like I said, what Bezos is doing and he's got like two satellites up there in orbit that they're testing that I did once again, that video that I shared earlier with you guys. And I'm like, you know, I mean, they have Blue Origin, which Bezos owns. They have Arian Space. They have ULA, all of these companies, and they can't compete with like what's going on in China. Now, why is that? Like, why is that? Elon gets it. Okay, he's definitely ahead of China, but that doesn't mean it's going to stay that way. And if the U.S. government has anything to say about it, Elon Musk will actually be held behind the eight ball. China will excel and we will stay down here because of all the rules and regulations of all these three letter regulatory agencies, these bodies that slow everything, stifle everything. Like I said, drag it through the mud. I hope that doesn't happen, guys. I hope that doesn't happen. But anyways, I want to know your thoughts about this. What do you think about what China's doing here with Go Wong? 
with their 13,000 plus satellites. That is the equivalent to Starlink. And now this new one that they're working on with like 1,200, 1,300 that they're working on, Shanghai is working on another mega constellation for who knows what those are going to be for. What do you think? Once again, down below, let's have this conversation. Anyways, guys, if you just want to say thank you for all of my hard work on this channel, there's a little thank you button. You can click on that. That would be awesome. If not, that's perfectly fine. Consider becoming a member of the channel. That would be even better. And if you want more Starlink content, I put together a playlist just for you. I'll put a link over here. Check it out. Over 200 videos just on Starlink, just alone. That is a lot. <laughs> Helpful how-tos, tips, tricks, what to buy, what not to buy, and more importantly, the why behind it all. It's very important. Also, if you haven't downloaded any of my eBooks, go check them out. They're free. Go to jcristina.com forward slash books. Once again, jcristina.com forward slash books. And if you need a VPN, look no further. Check out Pure VPN. The nice folks over there gave us a promo code, which is jcristina. You'll get 15% off at checkout, or you could just simply use the URL jcristina.com forward slash VPN. Once again, jcristina.com forward slash VPN. And finally, head over to my website, jcristina.com, where you can find all the photography tools and Tees, and now we have a lot of merch and all kinds of other stuff over there. If there's something that you like, consider purchasing it. I would appreciate the support for my family. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for being here. Many blessings to you and your family. We'll see you in the next one. Love you all. Bye.